Mingala Bakumya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Dr Thane Nguyen has been suspended from the National League for Democracy's Central Executive Committee. Party leader Aung San Suu Kyi has stated that the veteran activist could not maintain a leading role in both the NLD and the National Network for Education Reform, a high-profile organisation lobbying for changes to the widely unpopular national education law. Veteran education expert Thane Nguyen, who is a leading spokesman on behalf of students, was on Monday at meetings with the Education Ministry. Meanwhile, student protests are continuing across the country. A body of 3,000 students marching from Mandalay to Rangoon approached the central Burmese town of Prom on Monday. Local police have barricaded roads in the area. Residents of Madei Island off the Arakan coast now have access to four hours of electricity per day. The power supply comes as a part of a compensation deal from the China National Petroleum Corporation. The company caused damage to farmlands and the local environment while constructing the Shui gas pipeline. However, the connection has not come without a fight. The company had originally promised round-the-clock power to what is around 500 households. Local staged protests after the Chinese firm attempted to impose a surprise installation fee. Industrial action at a factory complex in Rangoon has escalated. Workers at the Shwepita Industrial Zone ended a two-week-long sit-in on Monday by demonstrating outside their manufacturing site. The strikers have crippled production at five factories. Demands include basic salary increases, paid sick leave and welfare cards for all workers. Burmese performers have stolen the show at Singapore's International Lion Dance Competition. Martial artists, acrobats and musicians brought their lions to life in a ferocious display in front of an adoring crowd. The team from Burma was among 14 competing in front of judges on Saturday. The home team were the winners on the day, but the Burmese were well and truly the crowd's favourite. I think the result is not up to my expectations. I was hoping the Myanmar team will win, but... Too bad. Although I'm Singaporean, but I thought the, one of the Myanmar teams really did, did really well. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.